Welcome back to BT. Here's a startling statistic for you. More than half of the adult children in our country are still making withdrawals from the bank of mom and dad. That's according to a new survey from the Planning Standards Council. Kelly Keene joins us this morning with how to help these big kids find financial self-sufficiency while taking the strain off your own bank account. Good morning to you, Good Kelly. Good so morning, nice Leah. To see you. Yeah, nice to see so you, So we've been talking about this here, and we're all yeah. a little freaked out by it. Not going to lie. Yeah. What has the survey found? Well, we looked at millennial kids, and 40% of those are are dependent on their parents but this is the big kicker is a one-third of those that are dependent on the parents they are actually putting such a financial strain that the parents are having to delay retirement <gasps> delay paying off their debt now um, there's so many good you know well-meaning pa parents out there yes. that so, you know sometimes it's the kids sometimes it's the parents so we'll, we'll get into that a little okay. bit but the real takeaway is you need to know if you can help the kids and we're hearing today that interest rates are probably going to go up if you're going to help the kids are you actually having to go further into debt to do that so really complex sensitive uh, conversation a yes. lot of family dynamics going on but really important so so happy to be here Absolutely. Um, yeah to talk, to about, talk this. about this you bet so why don't we talk first about how maybe it's okay to help them out in the short term right should we think about the short term yeah I mean the it, it always comes down to your plan because there's expectations as well right so what does that mean in the short term is it uh, I, I spoke to one one woman recently that she said it is her duty as a mother for her three children to come out debt free from university and I was like whoa, whoa. I know this woman's financial situation she cannot afford to do that Wow uh, she doesn't have a financial plan so the the big takeaway there is do you have a financial plan you need to we're gonna talk about getting help you need to see someone like a certified financial planner yeah. and maybe as well get your kids to have the financial plan right. right because I don't care if they're 16 or 17 or 18 what is that plan of of how they're going to help with whatever it is they're yes. asking for that help what is their contribution because not always but sometimes the parents that can't afford to help their kids are the ones that really want to do it and then I'm hearing more and more from the parents that are like the Warren Buffett school of, <laughs> yeah uh, no nope, nope not helping them on your own so you kind of have to figure out as well right can you help and then what does that help look like right okay so why don't we go from that spot yeah so if we want to help our kids how do we do this and how do we do it especially if there's siblings involved right yeah uh, again you've got to look at, at that plan you've got to also look at the your children now okay. um, some very well-meaning parents that were you know baby boomers that that got to take advantage of their house skyrocketing and things of that sort. Right. They want to help their kids out maybe with a down payment because uh, you still look at Calgary real estate and it's insane for a young person coming yes. out. However, can that child actually handle the mortgage, the maintenance, the property taxes? Are you in fact maybe setting them up for failure mm, yeah. or them wanting to get into a new business or coming back several times to mom and dad right. because a business failed or, or they haven't got a job after university or whatever that might be right right very sensitive issues now uh, for those folks at home that are going well that's all great and yeah maybe you do have that adult child what do you do yeah very hard to have that conversation yes. especially if you haven't before so that's where it's critical to bring the professional in could be your banker could be your lawyer an accountant a, a financial planner um, just to be that impartial third party the objective person right? exactly okay. I was watching this show on BT and and yeah. and Leah you know was saying that you guys got to have this conversation because a lot of not just hurt feelings happen not yes. just resentment if there's one child getting the help and the other siblings aren't but complex issues like was that a gift or was it a loan for the business or the house or, or right. paying for your university okay is that coming out of the inheritance later Right. What if that child then goes and marries someone that goes bankrupt or they get divorced? You see how this starts to get. Yes, it snowballs. Really, really quickly. Yeah. Um, so the takeaway is that doing nothing doesn't make it better. Right. right? Yeah. <laughs> Just doling out the cash doesn't make it it's better or taking thing. from mom and dad. Yeah. Um, also, nothing wrong with if you think that there's some red flags that your adult child is actually in some financial distress. Yeah. Then you need to bring on someone like a nonprofit credit counselor, money mentors here yeah. in Alberta, Credit Canada. They have free courses. Um, it's a free call. There's so much that you can do because if your children are doing great, your yeah. adult children, yeah. not okay to ask them what their budget is, not okay to ask them what they're spending. But if they're coming to you continuously for help, yeah. then it is okay to say, you know what, we need to sit down 
help you get a budget, help you get your finances under control. Okay, and set them up for success all exactly. on their own. Exactly. Terrific. Kelly, thank you so much. Great advice Great as to always. Be with you.